Good afternoon. I am Andrea with Happy Cloud Creations, and I am jumping on because it's week five. Week five of finish. Let's finish those UFQs. Um, I know Monday is pretty busy day, at least for me. I don't know about you guys, um, but I thought I would jump on in the afternoon because the last few times that I jumped on in the morning at seven, I was still really, really tired. So I thought two o'clock might work out better for me. So if you haven't downloaded the project tracker yet, you still can. Um, I'm basically doing this, um, let's finish those UFQs through the end of December. Um, because in January, our Joyful Meadows quilt along will start. So I'm just, the last few months of the year, I like to focus on finishing up some of my old projects. Last week, I didn't get to check off any boxes, but I did add a quilt to my list, which I probably shouldn't have, which I forgot to write down. So the previous week, I finished my Joyful Meadows, so I decided to start another Joyful Meadows, um, which right now is just a bunch of pieces that need to be ironed and then put into blocks. Um, but since I did decide when I filled this out, I want to do at least two hours to a unfinished quilt project. So I decided to work on my Rainier Echoes because that one is actually basted and it is partially quilted. Um, I did a quilt along in this group, I think it ended May of 2020? Was it 2020? No. I don't know. Yeah, six months ago. So this year feels so, so long and weird, right? Um, but I started quilting that at the end of the quilt along that I started with you guys. Um, so um, on Friday and Saturday, I got a, a good chunk of time that I was able to do some quilting. And um, I basically outlined the whole design and now I'm trying to fill it in. I'm just doing approximately about an inch um, apart. See, this section hasn't been filled in yet. Um, I kind of like doing straight line quilting because it, easy, it is easy to fill in stuff. I'm sure free motion quilting would be easy to fill in things. I just haven't tried it yet, and I don't want to try it on this big of a quilt. Um, this is a 80 by 80, I think. Okay, so here's one of the dead space areas that I filled in with just, um, I kind of just outlined it and then took my hair marker and made lines an inch apart going in toward the center of that section, um, just to kind of fill it in. So that's what I worked on last week, which this one's a big one. I'll, I'll show you. Oh, I think I showed it to you guys on last week's video, but once it's done, I'll take a picture of it and share it with all of you. Um, hopefully I can get, got a lot of the quilting done, but there is still a lot left, which kind of reminds me why I always choose to do straight lines top to bottom, because that is the easiest and the fastest way to quilt a large quilt. Um, following the lines and outlining takes more time. Um, just because you're drawing out your lines and everything. So it's taking more time, but it's going to look really cool. I'm happy I'm doing that. Um, and also, usually I will just go with a white thread and quilt the whole thing with a white thread. But this time I decided to get threads that matched the front colors. So the yellow, I'm doing yellow. The navy, I'm doing navy. And then I got a thread color that's pretty similar to this. And then white. You can always find white. Um, these are all 100% cotton threads. But um, I wasn't thinking about it. The bobbins are the same as the front. So the back's going to look a little funny. Um, you can kind of see the whites. Uh, you can see the yellows. So personally, I don't care if the back looks funny um, on a quilt. Because you're mostly looking at the front, right? Um, so yeah. Um, basically, that's what I did this week. Uh, hopefully, I can get 
most of the quilting done on this this week. The kids are back in school this week, so it means quilting will be done before they get up. And if I have the energy at night, usually at night I don't have the energy to do sewing and I just clean up dinner and then I sit and knit. Um, but if I do have energy, maybe I'll try to do some at night. Um, sorry. Um, but yeah, that's my goal. I didn't plan out the whole pattern release very thoughtfully because I was like, oh, it, it's going to be on Monday. Um, the Joyful Meadows pattern is out today if you haven't seen it. Hello, Linda. So I wasn't thinking about, oh, it's going to land on a day that I um, do an unfinished, finish those uh, unfinished quilts day. And it's the day after the Black Friday weekend. So today was very busy, but that's okay. Hopefully tomorrow won't be as busy. Um, I hope you guys are all having a great day and had a great weekend. Hopefully you got some time to relax. The one thing that was nice about a four-day weekend was not having to wake up at 4.45 every day. I really enjoyed that. And then this morning was like, oh, no, I don't want to wake up at 4.45. But got to do what you got to do. Got to help. Like, my husband gets up that time, and I just can't go back to sleep after he leaves. So that's what I do. And then I have some time to quilt, I guess. Um... I hope you guys are getting some stuff finished on your lists. Keep posting it. Um, through the end of this month, I'm going to be focusing on that. So you guys can self-peer um, motivate each other um, and help motivate me to finish some stuff. Um, yeah, not much to talk about, though. So I'll get back to cleaning the house. The house is a little messier than usual just because it was a four-day weekend, I think. So I got some laundry and dishes still to do. And it's 2 o'clock. Um, <laughs> so I hope you guys have a great day. And I will talk to you probably next Monday. I might jump on here and just do a little overview video of the quilt along. But that's not going to start till January 12th. So we still have a long time until that starts. So I don't know. I might. I guess it is December tomorrow, huh? Maybe I'll do that next week. Um, I will talk to you guys later. Have a great day.